Right now to the North County where deputies say a man forced his way into a home and attacked a woman. Our Jason Sloss is live for us this afternoon in Encinitas with what we're learning about the attack and how deputies track that suspect down. Jason. Well, just a frightening experience for this woman happened uh, last night right around this time. So plenty of daylight at the time and uh, investigators say this could have ended a lot worse had someone not been ready to help rescue this woman. A terrifying attack on this typically quiet street in Encinitas. According to sheriff's investigators, a woman was out walking her dog just before 5 Wednesday evening. When she got to the front door of her home on Hygieia Avenue, a stranger came up from behind asking to use her bathroom. When she said no, the guy grabbed her and pushed her inside, then started strangling her. But someone else was inside the home, a 19-year-old man. We're told the boyfriend of the victim's daughter. He heard the noise, rushed in, and fought off the attacker, forcing him out. The guy then got in a car and drove off. The woman was hurt, but nothing serious. She gave deputies a suspect and vehicle description. Within minutes, deputies spotted the suspect vehicle about two miles away on Quail Gardens Drive. Investigators say that's where the suspect pulled over near where another woman was jogging. Thinking the guy could attack that woman, deputies jumped out and arrested the man, identified as 53-year-old Shane Crawford. A resident told us she drove by as the arrest was made. It seemed like uh, two undercover cops yeah, and then they had somebody cuffed, and I think they were taking a picture of him. Thank God we have a good, you know, sheriff's department that we're on that. Jessica Youngs lives down the street from where the attack happened. I mean, it's kind of shocking. It seemed like just late afternoon. I mean, I'm typically out walking my dog about the same time, and, you know, it's just kind of scary to think that could happen like that so quick. Crawford was booked into the Vista Detention Center. The Sheriff's Department says Crawford has a violent criminal history, convicted of robbery, and was released on bail just last Friday for a DUI arrest. He now faces several charges, including burglary, assault with a deadly weapon, assault with the intent to commit a sex crime, and kidnapping. Crawford set to appear in court tomorrow afternoon. He's now held on a million dollars bail. Live in Encinitas, Jason Sloss, Fox 5. News. All right.